Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to make your Target and Walmart shopping bags into smaller, easy to store bags. If you're like me, you probably save these for you know other uses around the house or in the yard, for camping or you know in the car. And I may or may not have bags full of other bags. And when I saw this on Pinterest, I thought, yeah, it's a little bit dorky. Um, my husband and son, you know, they may have made fun of me for trying it, but I really like it. I've been doing it for about six months, and it's just so nice to have, you know, 30 bags in one small bag is amazing. You just make them into these little triangles. It just takes a minute, and I mean, really, why not? So let's try it. Okay, so now we have our Target bag. And what the first thing we're going to want to do is lay it flat. So what I do is I take these little flaps here and then grab the handle and I just pull and it's going to straighten and flat, flatten right out. So I'm going to do that to both sides. That's going to flatten out nicely and we're going to fold it into three. And I'll do that one more time. So basically, you know, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's easier to see on your own bag at home. You're going to see the inside seam here of this flap. You're going to be able to see that, and that is kind of a good guiding point. That's kind of what I use, is try to fold along that. If you're using, you know, the target, you could use this as your center. Use that as a guide. But really, it's just going to be trial and error. My first couple bags were a little bit wonky, but after that, it's pretty easy. So we're gonna fold into three. And that is literally the hardest part. If you can do that, you're all set. Now, because I don't like a floppy end, I usually flip it over. When you fold it in, you're gonna get a nice smooth area here. But if you flip it over, you get this little weird part that attaches, you know, to the holder at the store. And I don't like this to flip out, so what I do is I flip it so that this is up and I'm gonna fold it in. Now from the bottom, you're gonna start to fold up as a triangle, like so. It doesn't matter if you go start this way or start this way, it's gonna end up to be the same. So you just fold up in your triangle. And if you like yours a little bit tighter, you can kind of cut it off and not completely go up above. You could go below if you like them smaller. And when you finish, you just want to make sure that you finish this way with your straight line here, not with your triangle line. So you finish straight up here. And the one thing that when I saw the pictures on Pinterest that it didn't show, which I find has been easiest for me is, you know, you're left with these handles. So what I do is I fold these in. So I make a second triangle on this side. So I fold these in and then kind of fold these back. So you're kind of left with this weird chunk. And then you've made this little pocket here, and it's real handy to just shove it in there. And then you're done, that's it. It didn't take very long. It's nice and smooth. Like I said, it, you know, it doesn't matter. If you do it that way, if you don't flip it over, you'll just have on one side that little flappy part. It's not a big deal, it's just a preference. And then pretty soon, You'll have a bag of bags like me. I've got 30 bags in here in just a Target meat bag, and it's pretty awesome. I really enjoy it, and I hope you give it a try. If you do and you like it, you know, leave it in the comments. If you don't and it sucks, you could leave that too. You know, I think it's cool. I like it. People around me seem to think, you know, it's worthwhile if they remember to do it. So, but I hope you try it. I hope you like the tutorial and we'll try to do some more. Thank you.